Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's time for more Ace Attorney. This is episode 29, Turnabout Reclaimed, The Killer Revealed, or Killer, what'd I call it? Killer's Revenge? Killer, Killer Whale. Yeah, we're back at the whale being the killer again. Who knew? All right. So, uh, your first like, oh guys, is 100 likes. Let's get those up if we haven't already. And uh, this is going to be the finale of, we think, we think the finale of um, Turnabout Reclaimed. It might be. It might be the finale of this. I don't know. I'm tempted to peek to see how much longer this case is, but everybody said this is a long case. But. Um, we're going to do a quick poll of uh, who you guys think is the killer. So, here here we go. Uh, this is the poll. I'm gonna go with... Who is the killer? Uh... That... The rapper. The whale. Okay! Here's your choices, people. Who do you think the killer is? Poll should be up in the chat uh, somewhere. The whale is on the poll, as we requested. So we've got the vet, the rapper, the whale. Nobody thinks the whale's the killer. I do. Amber thinks the whale's the killer. I think Orca murdered him. Yeah. Murder a whale. Murder a whale. Somebody looks very handsome. Okay. Also, guys and gals, um, tonight is the last grinding stream for Final Fantasy VII. I will be teaching you guys how to farm a monster that is the only way to gain experience because basically if you fight the monsters, which I found out after almost four hours, is they give you next to nothing in terms of experience. So basically it's Final Fantasy XV, Final Fantasy XVI all over again. They didn't do the thing from Final Fantasy Remake. Which is upsetting because I was able to fight regular monsters and mid-bosses over and over again and gain experience. But uh, it doesn't work that way in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually farm a particular monster that is a secret to find in the grasslands that will give you about twelve to 1,300 experience every time you beat it. Which is going to help you, you know, much faster than double digits. Triple digits or four digits is better than just double digits for a 20-minute fight over nothing. As well as beating the summons doesn't give you enough experience either. It just gives you materia. Mm. So that's fun. But anyway, this is Ace Attorney. Uh, so uh, we're back to the Orca yet again, I see. Huh. If you're going to give testimony like that, why don't you bother putting yourself on the stand? All I'm doing is telling the truth. That day Sasha wanted to do the old version of the Swashbuckler Spectacular. So I suggested she hide the body in the Skull Rock and move it to the Orca Pool. I was gonna figure out... I was gonna figure out what to do with the body after the show was over. What?! The orca's the one that killed the captain. It wasn't me, and it wasn't Sasha. I know, it's that whale that's to blame. I agree. They're called killer whales for a reason. So, you really think it's the whale? Okay. The whale is evil. Alright, Amber. Thank you for the super chat, Just so Kenobi! My dad's shoulder replacement surgery went great. Thanks for the prayers. Of course, Justo Kenobi. I'm so glad his surgery went well. God, yep, her. and we'll be praying for him to recover as well. Justo Kenobi, of course. And uh, happy birthday, Tom, and happy almost birthday, Later Gator, this week. Yep, thank you for the super chat, Justo. You're breathtaking. All right, guys, here we go. Time to put the whale behind bars. So it was Rhyme's idea to hide the body in the skull rock. Hmm, but if Mr. Rhyme's is the culprit, why would he protect Sasha? False charges against Sasha would mean he himself would escape suspicion, so why? Mr. Wright, how about if you leave this to me, huh? Huh? Athena, do you mean you heard something? Yep. Noise! Discord in Rhyme's heart! So that means somewhere in his testimony there's an inconsistency in his emotions. Alright, Athena, give him a good counseling session. You got it, boss! 
All right, let's do this. Hey, robot friend, servant, I mean friend. I will destroy you. <laughs> huh? What's this? <laughs> what are you getting at, Athena? Hmm, this testimony is pretty complex. Feelings of deep sadness and intense anger are being called up. Th those two emotions appear to be running out of control, Mr. Wright. Out of control emotions? Is that going to be a problem? We'll have to probe their cause if we want to get this true emotion and testimony. It's probing time! Not the probe again. There might even be odd or unnatural spots in his testimony he isn't even aware of! Alright, well, let's probe for the cause of this out of control emotions. Up the probe goes! Into his emotions! <laughs> and if you guys don't smash that like button, we'll probe your emotions too! I don't want my emotions probed, Luke! Then get those likes up! Or everyone gets probed! Luke, please! Please, Luke, please! I'll explain how to probe! Let's find the root cause together! When you see something off in the statement, press probe, which is the L1 button. Next. <laughs> My gosh! Next, point to what's cause, causing Mr. Rhymes out of control emotions. Finally, press probe to complete the process. When emotions are out of control, memories can recall. <laughs> Recalled incorrectly. If you still have found anything after all the statements and images, I mean, if you still haven't found anything, I'll help. I mean, my robot servant will help you. Okay, great. All right, I'll start uh, comparing the statements with the images. I can imagine being a counselor someday and, like, what do you think is the problem? Well, I'm having trouble at work. All right, time to probe your emotions. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> Ah, what are you doing? Ah! What is happening? No tickling today, Luke. All right, in the... I don't know what's going on today. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain into the air. There's anger and... Show the pool, or the shock. 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 Ang captain. Anger and shock. Yeah, okay. anger and sadness. Then the captain pool. came down and slammed into Here. the water. That wouldn't be enough to kill him. It's water. <sighs> I can still remember the spectator screams clearly. Wouldn't he be just doing a reverse on belly flop? I mean, I think he's telling the truth, but I think the person who's supposed to be floating dead in the water there is uh, Azura. Like, I think he's recalling actually her death. Azura. And just oh put my the captain gosh. there. That's weird. All Sasha did was move the body she was trying to protect the orca. Then Mr. Plume witnessed the orca find the body. I freaked. All right. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Um, that could be the cause of this out-of-control sadness and anger, though, right? Hmm. Uh, it'd be hard to find them both at the same time. Let's concentrate on probing just one of them, Mr. Wright. Why do they have to use that word? They should say... Can we think of a different word to use? Zoning in on, concentrating on just one, solving one emotion. Why don't we say solving? Probing. Let's solve the emotion. Probe emotion. Oh, no, no, we're solving them. Let's solve the emotions. I don't want to probe anyone's emotions. This I smell me... emotions. I feel uncomfortable. If I went to a counselor and they were like, "We're gonna probe your emotions," and be like. Um, can you please? I I'm I'm leaving. I I need you to show me the door. Probe. No. What? Are you, why are you holding a Wii controller? This will act as a probing machine. <laughs> are you an alien? Probe. I'm I'm ready. Probe. If aliens if aliens can do it, then certainly humans can probe people's emotions too. Let's just. It'd be hard to find them both at the same time. Let's concentrate on probe. Solving just one! Probe. He did make one odd statement I was wondering about. Luke is doing the robot voice. I highly doubt there were any spectators at the scene of the crime. 
Mm -hmm. Hey, good point. Uh, that just doesn't fit. Keep probing him. Might be the cause of this out-of-control motion. So let's uh, try pointing to the spectators. Just be sure I'll explain how to solve one at a time. Probe. Just press the solve button by L1. It's a statement that seems off. You mean the probe button? No, I'm pretty sure it's the solve button. Next, point to what you think is causing his out-of-control motions. The spectators. Finally, press solve to complete the process. Probe. In the, sh in the shallow pool, the orca shot the captain into the air. Um. Hmm, there doesn't appear to be the cause of his out-of-control emotion, Mr. Wright. What could be the cause of his out-of-control sadness and anger? Hmm. It'd be hard to find them both at the same time. Let's concentrate on just finding one. Probing one. He did make one odd statement I was wondering about. Mm -hmm. I highly doubt there were any spectators at the scene of the scene of the crime. See, she's telling you right there. I can hear the spectators' screams clearly. Okay. Hey, good. Oh, sorry. Hey, good point. Just doesn't fit. It might be the cause of his out of control emotions. Let's try pointing to the spectators. Just to be sure, I'll explain how to solve one more time, Mr. Wright. Press solve emotions at the statement that seems off. Next, point to what you think is causing the out of control emotions, which would be the spectators. Finally, press solve emotions to complete the process. Just say try... probe. I don't like it! Probe, probe, Next probe, statement, probe, next probe, statement. Probe, 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 this one! Probe, probe. No, the one with the, the spectators. I can still remember the spectator screams. There's something on this. There were no spectators. There. I doubt there were any spectators there after the show stage when the owner died. Wow. Huh. I doubt there were any spectators there at the show stage when the owner died. If there had been, those witnesses would have told us at the crime scene right away. What? Oh, right. Of course. Uh, I just made a mistake. Oh my gosh, you're right, Luke. Maybe he's reliving the event. Yes. Oh, may I say something? No. I'm just going to say it because I think if Mr. Rhymes did do it because of his girlfriend, he could just plead temporarily in temporary insanity because it's not his fault that he murdered someone. Yes, it is. It's premeditated. I don't think so. I think yes, he... it is. He waited a year to get revenge. Worked at the company. He maybe planned he everything. Maybe he just happened to work there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Maybe he was just... Maybe that was the last job, and it was like, darn it. This is the last job available in the whole town, and it happens to be the place where my girlfriend died. Well, a job's a job. Nope. It's premeditated. Fine. Fine. He planned it. Okay, that made the sadness subside in Mr. Rhymes. The only way you could plead insanity in a murder case is if you and I got in a fight, and like... One of us had, like, some type of emotional flashback, and it wasn't premeditated somehow. But even then, you'd still go to jail. So even if you pled insanity mm. for, like, some type of trauma or whatever, you would still go to jail. So, but this was, he planned this. Okay? He planned it. I don't know. It's I still think the whale killed him. No, the, the whale killed the original hmm. girl. Maybe Athena killed the... The guy. What? Maybe she's the murderer. I don't know her Athena's very well. Athena's in the courtroom. Athena's been here this whole time. We Stop don't that. even know. She might be the murderer. Does she need to be probed more? No! Solving! Solving! Solving the emotions! So maybe the spectator's part was what was making him sad. No. Maybe it was the dolphin, or I mean the, the, the pelican that did it. What pelican? <laughs> the, the penguin. That's what I meant to say. Penguin was the penguin murdered someone now. Maybe. Okay. All right. I'm. I'll, I'm All right. sorry for interrupting. You. I wonder why uh, he would make that mistake saying spectators were there. How strange! Because he's reliving a past memory. Duh. The signs are all there. Sephiroth told him to do it. He's in his head. The only thing I can think of is that he was mixing up mo one memory with another. Oh my gosh, Luke. Hmm. See. 
Smart. Like, he was in a similar situation before, and it was deeply imprinted on his heart. Ah, a situation where an orca killed somebody, and there were spectators there. Hey! I think I know why he's mixing up his memories. The reason why Mr. Rhymes mixed up his memories is... Because of the girlfriend who died. Uh... How would we know? Let's see. The book! Yeah, the book explains it, yeah. Yeah, present book. The book, the book, present the book. It's some weird title for a book, The Killer Killer Whale. Present book, time code in. Bammo! Take that! Mr. Rhymes, I think I know what happened. Could you have been mixing up what happened a year ago with this incident? Maybe that's why you slipped and said the owner was killed in front of spectators. What? How did you... You're right. I did see the orca kill somebody a year ago. Well, what about it? I was just one of the spectators. Really? Just another spectator, Mr. Rhymes? There must be a reason why you feel great sadness about that incident last year. Silence. <laughs> Stop with this nonsensical scrutiny of feelings. Just present evidence to prove your point already. No, we like to probe people's emotions. Eep. My probing stick is gone. But boss, do you have any kind of evidence that would back us up here? Probe. Luke, why are you poking me with a Wii U controller? Something to do. Hmm. Emotions, Luke. Emotions. There is one piece that comes to mind that might explain the sadness. Well, I'm waiting. He's Sonic now. Let's see this evidence. Hmm. Um, evidence. Discover that maybe the charm. Yeah, it belonged to Azura Summer's boyfriend. We'll try the charm. Going right. once, going twice. Charm! We'll try it. Azura Summer died in an accidental death one year ago. This is her boyfriend's charm. Hey! What are you doing with that charm, man? It was found in Rifle's stomach yesterday. Judging by your reaction, I believe this charm belongs to you. <gasps> oh! I guess I need to push him a little further to make him admit it. When Mr. Rhymes said the word charm, he was very rattled, Mr. Wright. We'd better examine this charm a little more. Good idea. Let's look inside of it. Huh? What's this? A photograph. Oh, the field. Hey, this is... That's the trainer and Mr. Rhymes. Azura Summers and Myrlin Rhymes. They look so cute. And look, the whale's about to kill them both. The whale's in the photo happy. Probe! Ah, stop! Okay. It's not what Wiimotes are for. There's motive. Oh my gosh! Mr. Rhymes, you and Azura Summers were a couple weren't you she's not screaming you and mr rhymes were a couple weren't you yeah so what if we were a couple it doesn't have anything to do with the captain's case you believe you saw the orca kill your girlfriend that's the cause of your sadness isn't that the emotion of yours connected to the current case silence the only thing you revealed was a witness's connection to the victim of last year's incident what does the witness pass have to do with the case at hand? I don't know yet. But we managed to pinpoint the source of his sadness, Mr. Wright. Now let's delve into who Mr. Rhymes is angry at. The whale. It's obviously the whale. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain into the air. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. Bullshit. I can still remember the captain's dead body clearly. All Sasha did was move the body into the 
thing. Then Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body. I freaked. I freaked he's angry. Man, he's angry on every single one he's of these angry statements. The whole time. Uh Um He's angry on a lot of things. <clears throat> I think you should um Yes. I think you should, because he's angry the whole time, I think you should go where the anger starts. I think you should go at the beginning. It says where the beginning is. <clears throat> and, like, I think you should select the person he's angry at, which is the person he wants to... No! He he was more angry at the whale! He's angry at his boss for not paying him enough! He's <clears throat> angry at the he's whale. Angry. I think he wants the whale dead. Present whale. <clears throat> angry at whale. I mean, they should really give killer whales a better name than killer whale. Da, da, <clears throat> it makes da, people think, da, like, the da, whale's da, gonna da, kill da, everyone. Da, 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 da. Ah! What are you doing, you weirdo? He's <laughs> getting my drink of water. It's a good thing, actually, you didn't have that open. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Rhymes, you're angry with the Orla the whale, aren't you? Angry? At an orca? Why would I be angry? If you think I have some reason to be mad, then show me some proof, fool. Do I have proof that Mr. Rhymes has a reason to be angry? I got your proof right yeah, here! We do. I do? Yes. I just bet that evidence we just took a look at would come in handy here. The picture of his girlfriend in him. This charm indicates that you were Azora Summer's boyfriend. I'm sure you believe Orla killed your girlfriend a year ago. You lost your girlfriend and you've been angry at Orla ever since. <gasps> <sighs> All right, I'll admit it. I'll never forgive that orca. Azor is dead, and that orca is still swimming around, happy as a clam. I became an animal keeper just so I could prove that orca is a killer. You're right. I want that orca to pay. There, you feel good dragging up a person's past, but still doesn't change nothing. I think the orca should beg for forgiveness first and plead for mercy. Ah, uh, he's right. Offer me money. Offer me everything I ever desired. I want my girlfriend back, you son of a whale. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's what I, we need to see. I want to see that scene. I disagree. It does change things. His out of control emotion quieted down. Yeah, it's true. It didn't. Probe! Ah, look! What? Is that a brush? What's happening? Okay. Oh, sorry, I was probing for Luke, emotions. we're solving the emotions! Solving them! Okay. Now, you know what? I just imagined a dark thing where they have a he has a sword fight with a whale, and he literally, like, is like, the whale's like, look, we're gonna fight to the death. And then he's like, no, we're gonna fight to the pain. And the whale's like, I'm not familiar with that, that phrase. You made him the six-fingered man? <laughs> Wait, did you make He's him the like, Dread Pirate Roberts? First, Robert, I'm going to cut off your top fin, and then... <laughs> okay. All right. Now we should be able to find out the truth behind that emotion. Oops. <clears throat> Probing. Solving. Solving for emotion. Okay, he's angry at the whale. He's angry. Then the captain came down and slammed into the water. There's sadness. Yeah. I can still remember the captain's dead body clearly. All Sasha did was move the body she was trying to protect. When Miss Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freaked. Hmm. Well, um, it... Yes? He said he freaked out on the last statement, but why is he not surprised? He said he was freaking out. He's freaking out that he saw... I'd freak out if I saw a dead body. <clears throat> yeah, but he's not freaking out. Look at the freak out face. Should have made a, he should have made a happy face. Like, ha ha, <laughs> my employer's dead. <laughs> the freak out face. That's what you get for missing my raise! The freak out face is not blinking, only sad and angry, so he wasn't freaking out, which means he probably wasn't freaking out at this point, which means... He already knew that was going to happen. So he's angry. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really actually know. 
You don't know. You want me to press this, but you don't know what to press. Can't you just put put, put it on the picture? Can't you pinpoint something on the picture instead? Nope, it only lets me do Simon Says. So I can do sadness, I can do rage. Um. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, um, I don't know, like... You can't, can't you go on the yellow? The yellow's not highlighted. It should be! He should be surprised! He's not surprised! He should be. That's what I'm gonna say. I don't know what the chat thinks, but that's what I think. But it's not one of the blinking he emotions. He should be Oops. surprised. According to my analysis, Mr. Rhymes is usually a very calm person. So? Let's see if we can find any inconsistencies between his words and his emotions. <clears throat> I think he should be surprised on that last one. But it's not usually how this stuff works. Is you have to click the ones that are blinking. Fine, click sadness then if you want to click one. I will click one because there's there's no it's not blinking. Right. Why would surprise be blinking? Well, you already know he's angry, so I guess click sadness. Sadness. <clears throat> but I still think you should click surprise. Well, I think you're wrong. When we view your emotions alongside your testimony, we find the unexpected emotion. Wait a minute. There really isn't anything strange here. I don't know, but I think maybe we made a mistake, Mr. Wright. Darn! I think maybe you're right. Let's take another look! There must be an unexpected emotion here somewhere. Fine, I'll do... But it's not blinking yellow. Fine, then. Try Fine. Angry. No, no, I won't. Why would I try angry? Why would I he be... Ang he would be angry that he finds the body. Fine. <clears throat> when we view your emotions alongside your testimony, we find the unexpected emotion... Wait a minute. There really isn't anything strange here. It's not strange that he's angry that the orca found a dead body? That he put there? Okay, fine. <laughs> What's allegedly, Luke? Allegedly. Why would it be allegedly? <clears throat> allegedly I don't know. Right. I think maybe we find a mis we found a mistake, Mr. Wright. We found a mistake. Huh? I think maybe you're right. Probably. I don't know. Let's take another look and try again. Take a look. It's maybe, in a book. Maybe do something the game hasn't allowed you to do and randomly wants you to read its mind and do at this point. But it's not blinking. <laughs> This is really driving my ADD crazy. Fine! Everyone wants me to click on the stupid surprise! Here! We fail! We're ready to, everyone wants you to get a game over. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, you freaked? Really? How is that the answer? It wasn't blinking! I don't know, Luke! They didn't say that was part of the rules! It is part of the rules! There are rules in this society! I don't want Marlon Rhymes to die. If your girlfriend is dead, then you should be allowed to kill one person in response without any consequences. What? That should be the rule of society. If somebody kills your girlfriend, you should be allowed to get revenge, but only on one person. Probe. Oh! <laughs> you should be able to murder once and get a freebie. You're terrible. You really, you're going to go to jail someday. <laughs> I'm not going to visit you. You're a crazy person. Okay. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, you freaked. Really? <laughs> what are you getting at, foo? With Mr. Plume as a witness, Orla was guaranteed to be accused of the murder. Didn't it work out exactly as you'd hoped? In order to have Orla put down, you made sure Mr. Plume witnessed that scene. Bloop. <laughs> There's his face right there. Why is his face? <laughs> oh, because we. Oh, so that the whale could be killed. Yeah. And why is why is his face on the? Wall? Oh, I get it. Oh, I, I get it. I don't get it. So. So really, he didn't want to kill that guy. He just had to kill somebody so that the whale could kill that person. So you figured it all out, did you? So this whole thing was setting up the whale. Mr. Imes, are you admitting to it? I didn't really want to have to fight anybody but the orca. 
but you leave me no choice. Um. What is happening? You drank pirate rum. Oh! Ah! What? Now it's time to get serious. What just happened? Ho! Oh, what, what? Yo, 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 ho! Me, me, brothers represent a vast degrass eater. Stay free! Take me words and pop it in your mouth. Scurvy, I can't even. Yo, 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 yo! Bro, I'm ready for the showdown! What's a grass eater? I have no idea what just happened. I don't happened. know what's happening. It's a grass eater. Did he say meat eaters unite grass eaters? What? Did you just drink performance enhancing drugs in my courtroom? Where did this fellow pirate come from? <laughs> he looks like a completely different person. Oh my gosh. Order! If we uh, don't have order, Prosecutor Blackwell will yell at us. <laughs> Even Prosecutor Blackwell is at a loss for words. So I plan to have that wench be a witness? <laughs> you caught me out. I'd be true if I thought the orca's murderous ways would be found out. That'd be why I schemed to have Plume see the body. So you admit it, you deliberately framed Orla? Arr, it'd be true. But what skin be of that of anybody's nose, huh? That orca be murdering scurvy dog. I may have a grudge against the orca, but I always felt grateful toward the captain. The orca murdered Azura and the captain, so of course, she should walk the plank. Mm. Yeah, I don't have a response to that. I agree, it wouldn't make any sense for him to kill the owner. Why would he? But his hatred for Orla, on the other hand, comes through loud and clear. <clears throat> Wait, what? Wait a minute. So we're saying he didn't kill the captain, he just framed? If killing Mr. Shipley doesn't make sense, who would make it... Ah. If killing Mr. Shapley doesn't make sense, who would it make sense for Rhymes to kill? Maybe my theory has been all wrong. Your Honor, I think I just became aware of a new fact. Oh, and what is that? Now that we know about Mr. Rhymes' intense hatred of Orla, it turns out the premise we've been arguing under a, Wow, what? It turns out the premise we've been arguing under on its... It turns out the premise we've been arguing under on its ear? What? It, it turns... No, out. It turns the premise we've been arguing under on its ear. Oh, it turns the premise we've been arguing under on its ear. Uh, okay. I will now reveal the identity of the individual Mr. Rhymes meant to kill from the start. The uh, whale! Yeah, probably. What? Yeah, look, the whale! So the witness was intent to kill the whale? Exactly. The witness intended the victim... The witness's intended victim was not Jack Shipley. From the start, it was all scheme to kill the whale! The orca was his true target, but Jack Shipley is the one who died. The orca's alive and quite well. Uh, so what... how did the guy die then? Mm, he's right. <clears throat> he wanted to kill the orca, and yet it was Jack Shipley who fell to his death. How did that happen? Hmm. Wait a minute. What if... What if Mr. Rhymes wanted to kill Orla was somehow connected to Mr. Shipley's death? Huh. At a loss for words, are you? What happened to your bravado for a moment there? Enough of these reckless words, without any basis in fact. Objection! They aren't reckless words. The basis for my claim is that the real murder scene, the show pool. What are you talking about? It's my connection that two in... It's my contention that two incidents happened at the show floor. Huh. The attempted murder of the orca and the victim falling to his death. First of all, in order to kill the orca, Mr. Rhymes removed something from the scene. And by doing so, he made it possible for Mr. Shipley to fall to his death. 
She did that now? What? Mr. Knight, what did Mr. Rhymes remove in attempt to kill the Orla? The water. Yeah. He did remove the water to kill Orla. I think he removed the water, yeah. Because we already talked about it last time that he must have died in that tank on the other tank, not in the tank that they were found in. And that the Orla, or that the captain fell 65 feet from the air. So he must have drained that tank. Don't tell me you're trying to claim he killed the orca by draining the pool water. That's exactly what I'm claiming, yes. To help the defendant with the cleaning, Marlon Rhymes took charge of Orla. With a plan to kill Orla in the show pool. And because the pool water was drained... It made it possible for Jack simply to fall to his death in the show pool. I tried, to, I tried to kill the orca, you see? Can you prove that was nary a drop of water in the pool? That day I was simply looking after the whale. Why would I have the monstrous thought of killing it? Objection! You claim you were looking after Orla in the early morning hours of July 20th. But I don't think you were doing a very good job of it. After all, Orla wasn't given anything to eat during that time. How would ye know of such a thing? I know because of Orla's record here in the Torpedo Data System, fool. This system continuously records data on the subject it monitors. From Orla's record, we can tell exactly when she ate or didn't eat. Sink me. Nobody ever told me about that dastardly contraption. Only a few of the ship shape aquarium staff know about this system. According to Orla's record, she never ate in those early mornings, hours of the 20th. You plan to kill Orla, and that's why you didn't feed her. Silence. Huh. You're wasting your time. What proof do you have of that? Perhaps the Orca simply wasn't hungry. Ah, he's right. I don't have any proof. If Orla simply didn't eat, then what would create an in... That would create an inconsistency. Where did her fish go then? Her fish? Good question. Where did it disappear to? Fish? What does it matter? What relevance does it have to the case? Cease the stalling with incons... Incons... <laughs> inconsequential. Cease the stalling with inconsequential questions. Stop delving into the depths of the orca's stomach and delve into the case instead. Objection! I don't think so. But wait, it may seem like a small inconsistency. But it's an issue of great importance, I think. What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? How could the fish disappear? Somebody must have eaten it. So how, oh, so who came to the show stage and ate Orla's fish? I think I might have a pretty good idea. Didn't the fish spill? Oh my gosh. He was planning on feeding the fish. Didn't the fish all spill when uh, what's-her-name ran into him? Um, yeah, I don't know. I believe there must have been a visitor to the show stage that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice. Hmm. Visitor? Are you trying to introduce yet another suspect at this 11th hour? If you utter more of your careless remarks, Taka will look favorably upon it. I don't plan to utter any careless remarks. Whether my remarks will actually be related to the case or not, I don't know yet. <laughs> don't worry, boss. If Taka comes this way, I'll fend him off. But do try to keep your remarks careful. Somehow Orla's fish disappeared. Somebody must have visited the stage show, but who? This was a visitor to the stage show. Oh, it's... Herman Crab Rifle. Rifle, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, because of the... <coughs> because of the footprints. Remember those little footprints on the... On the, on the sign? They said those don't look like stars. They look like little... They look like little feet. On the paint? Hmm... Because when we saw that sign, they said that doesn't look like stars, it looked like tiny little feet. Oops. 
possible she oh, let's see Sasha I'm gonna go with rifle. Herman or rifle. Yep. Oh, I, I just think... put my time code in for rifle, so okay. rifle going once, rifle going twice, bam! I believe rifle the penguin visited the show stage. Cute. First an orca, now a penguin? Yay, so cute. Why would ye be saying such a thing, Mr. Lawyer? Didn't see rifle during the wee early morning hours. Do ye have proof? Rifle visited the show stage. If ye be a lawyer or any salt, show me your evidence. The bottom of Rifle's feet were pink for some reason. The paint! The fact is a clue that Rifle was indeed at the show stage. I have to present that piece of evidence that connects Rifle to the show stage. Now, to prove that I'm a lawyer worthy of my salt, this is a proof that Rifle visited the show stage. The sign with pink paint. Take that! Good job, Lou. Oh my, what a cute little sign. Aww. Look at all those adorable stars. These stars are actually starfish. Miss Buckler painted this sign. In the early mount in the early morning hours of the twentieth, she left this sign at the show floor to dry. Mr. Rhymes kept an eye on the sign for Miss Buckler while the paint was drying. Aye, that be true, but what be your point? On this sign is proof that Rifle visited the show stage. Proof of the penguin's visit? I'm afraid I don't see it. It's there. Where is the proof that the penguin visited the show area? Please point it out. I mean, it's literally right there. Yeah, it's the footprints. Take that! A couple of pink starfish are shaped a little differently from the others. You're right! They look almost like little leaves. Rifle had pink paint on the bottom of her feet. These little leaf-like shapes on this sign are actually Rifle's footprints. Rifle made these footprints by walking on the sign before it was dried. Oh ho! What a cute little pink penguin print! So, there are footprints. What of them? I'm getting to that. Marlon Rhymes was watching over this sign at the show stage where the paint dried. And during that time, the penguin paid a visit. According to Torpedo Data System, we know that Rifle ate something that morning on the 20th. Most likely, Rifle ate the fish meant for Orla that was at the show stage. Hmm. Orla's snack was a small quantity of fish. Even a penguin could have eaten it all. Begad, Rifle ate Orla's fish? Who ye be to say the Rifle ate Orla's fish? She could have picked up food anywhere. But that doesn't change the fact that I was really at the show stage. After all, I had to help move the skull rock. Couldn't have been thrown, moved without me. The witness claims he never saw the penguin. What do you explain this contradiction? How do you explain it? Both Mr. Rhymes and Rifle were at the show stage, but Mr. Rhymes didn't see her. So where could Mr. Rhymes have been at the time? Hmm. Huh. Right, Dono. If you aren't up to the task, I could disprove this witness testimony for you. If I leave it to Prosecutor Blackwell, Sasha will be declared guilty. I can't let him interrupt this line of reasoning. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Mr. Wright, <clears throat> let's try to figure out how things looked when Rifle came to the show stage, okay? So, he must have been somewhere where he couldn't see Rifle, or he was completely lying. Behind the pirate ship, maybe? Mr. Rhymes was at the show stage, keeping an eye on Orla and the sign. Um... We know it must be true because he helped move the Skull Rock. And then Rifle came in and walked over the sign. Hmm... But wouldn't Mr. Rhymes notice Rifle if he was right there? Well, to think about it, Mr. Rhymes could have been. Is there a place in the show stage from which Rifle couldn't have been seen? I mean, he could have been in down in the tank, like 30 feet down. At the bottom. Bottom of the tank? I okay. I don't know, like, then he wouldn't have seen her. You want me to point at the bottom of the tank? Yeah. Okay. 
No, that's just Take that. What? Inside the pool? But you're right. If he was inside the pool, he wouldn't have even noticed Rifle. So are you saying Mr. Rhymes was underwater the whole time Rifle was eating? No, not underwater. When I think about what he was trying to do, the answer is clear. Now I'm finally starting to get the whole picture. I'm not. I have no clue what's happening. Huh. Just like yesterday. Must you two always be whispering to each other? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why don't you admit that resorting to a penguin will get you all nowhere? Objection! Mm-mm. Oh, I don't know about that. The fact that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice Rifle is such a small inconsistency. Hand slam. But it's the key point that proves that Mr. Rhymes was trying to do. Nani? The penguin is a key point? <laughs> The show stage pool is very deep. If Rifle came to visit Mr. Rhymes while he was at the bottom of the pool, he would have never noticed Rifle. <laughs> Orcas can be out of the water for a short time without sustaining damage. But if they're out of the water for too long, they weaken and eventually die. In order to kill Orla, Mr. Rhymes had to drain the pool. And while the pool was drained of water, Mr. Shipley fell to his death. Oh, wow. The show stage pool is about 65 feet deep, just like the orca pool. Without water in the pool, a person could be made to fall 65 feet. So he just tripped? Huh. Mr. Rhymes probably wondered what to do. If he continued with his plan to kill Orla, he would... How would he dispose of Mr. Shipley's body? So he devised a plan to kill two birds with one stone. What? How? Mr. Rhymes went down to the bottom of the pool and put the victim's body in the rock. He then had Miss Buckler move the rock and the body together. Silence. Oh, wow. So, the witness made the defendant do this somehow without arousing her suspicion? That's right. Mr. Shipley told us, told Miss Buckler that she couldn't perform in the new show. Miss Buckler became upset and wanted to switch back to the old version of the show. So, Mr. Rhymes can conveniently suggested that she take and hide the prop for the new show. Mm. Mr. Rhymes then manipulated Orla using her singing and lifesaver tricks. Oh, so instead of having her killed by... He schemed oh. to have Orla find the body while Miss Plume would be standing witness. He saddled Orla with a false charge of murder so that Orla would be put down. <gasps> oh. Yar! Grr! So the fact that the witness didn't see the penguin? Shows that when Rifle visited the show area, Rhymes was putting the body in the rock. At the bottom of the pool, that is. Who would have thought the presence of a penguin could prove the witness's actions? It's working! Just a little further now and Sasha will be proven not guilty. Silence! Wow. If you think you've won this battle, you are sorely mistaken. Your theory is based on the notion that the witness could manipulate the orca. Witness, can you control the orca's actions? Of course not. What kind of bilge be that? I be but a simple animal keeper. If my memory serves, wasn't Miss Buckler the only one who could issue commands to the orca? Hmm. Ah! Huh. Yeah, how do we explain the that? The judge's blade is sharper than the lawyer's. If you wish to do battle with a witness, you'll need a honed blade. Where is your sword of evidence that Marlon Rhymes could manipulate the orca? The whistle. Oh! Yeah, he cut your hair tuft off. As he keeps cutting my hair. I mean, or I mean, Sasha would know what... Rhymes had to have manipulated Orla in order for this plan to work. But how can I prove it? Maybe ask Sasha what happened that day. Well, it appears this line of reasoning has become unsustainable. Objection! Well, it appears that I was mistaken. Uh, uh, Athena? I've analyzed the hearts of all kinds of people. I have enough experience to see when I look into your heart that you haven't given up. 
Phoenix, I mean, Mr. Wright. So that objection was my way of speaking up for your heart. Sorry uh, if I got you in trouble. <laughs> she's right. Why would I become a lawyer again, only to give up? I have to keep fighting. That's right, boss. Athena, thank you. With your help, I've remembered the old right way. The right way? Hand slam! Your Honor, I'm not finished with presenting my argument. <gasps> mm, do you have anything else to ask this witness? You have cross-examined all witnesses and presented all your evidence. Objection! All the witnesses? Huh, I don't think so. I haven't cross-examined the most important one, the central figure in both cases. The central figure? The one involved in not only the case a year ago, but this current case, too. The penguin. I've never called her as a witness, but it's time to do so now. Who are you talking about? I demand you tell the court immediately. The penguin! Who is the central figure behind both cases? Are you serious? The penguin is not an option. The penguin is ah! an option! Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just joking. I don't think it's the penguin. It could be, though! We should present it! Present we should the save the game and then present the penguin, see what happens. I could present the penguin. I want to see the penguin presented, Luke. Alright, let's see what the what happens. I'm curious. Rifle the penguin! Let's go! Yeah! If that's your central figure, the one who holds the key to it all... ...then even Taka could win a guilty verdict against you! Oops! No! Ah! Wrong choice! Wrong choice! I have the final say over the verdict, just as I have the final say over assigning penalties! Oops. Though seeing a penguin appear in court would have been interesting. <laughs> uh, but there was no way I could give up now. <clears throat> There's one figure at the heart of both cases five years ago in this recent one. Or years ago. I thought it was the penguin. I mean, the penguin would have been interesting. Now, Mr. Wright, please don't waste our time and give us a proper answer. Maybe Sasha? Who was the central figure in both cases? The whale! Yeah! Let's go for it! The defense calls the central figure in both cases, Orla the Orca! Yes! Yes! You intend to cross-examine a whale? Ah, cross-examine Orca. He must be idle to be impossible, says I. Whoa, we're really going to cross-examine the whale? Silence. This absurdity is beyond the pale. How do you expect to question an Orca, a creature incapable of speech? <laughs> Orla is an... In, uh... He, she is intricately involved! Orla is intricately involved in this case. I have every right to cross-examine a whale. Yeah! Besides, even if she can't speak, I think cross-examining her will be invaluable. <laughs> oh my god. Very well. Do what you will then. But if you fail to garner anything from this little exercise with the whale, I hope you realize the reward for your efforts will be defendant's guilty verdict. Wait, we really are cross-examining the whale? I'm ready and confident. I was just joking. So, cross-examining Orla, huh? That was a bold move, boss! Uh, now all we have to do is figure out how Mr. Rhymes manipulated Orla! That's right. Now it's Orla's turn to help us save Sasha. I thought this was a joke! Wait, you're very serious? An Orca defended yesterday, an Orca witnessed today. This is truly unprecedented. What? Oh, to heck with it. Well, even though this is highly unusual, I'm prepared to allow it. I thought we were going to cause examine Sasha. Bailiff, ready the witness for telecast. What? We'll have a ten minute recess while we telecast is being set up. Oh my gosh, I thought this is actually happening. I was just kidding. What? I thought we were going to cause examine Sasha. We're cross examining a whale. What is happening? Am I in a weird dream? Yep. Oh my gosh, this is weird, Luke. Cross-examining a whale. I was just kidding. I was just joking. All right, guys, let's get the likes up for the absurdity of a whale being on the witness stand. I don't believe this. It's happening. Oh my gosh. 
Um, what? Hmm? <sighs> All right, I'm going to grab something to drink. All right, guys, I'm going to grab something to drink. Let's get those likes up. Uh, I'm going to grab a brisk iced tea because I kind of need one. Uh... I don't understand. Luke needs a, something to drink. <sighs> I think we all need a drink after this. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I need some ale. <clears throat> we just have juice. Jar. Well, that happened. I was just kidding. I didn't know. We're cross-examining a freaking whale, says Red Hood. Yeah. Well, that's happening. Wow, this case is becoming crazy. Luke's getting some juice. Maybe there's a video of somebody blowing the whistle, says Chaotic Darkness. And somebody else was saying, remember, they could record stuff that humans cannot they that are inaudible to humans. Oh yeah, maybe we can hear when the whistle was blown. That would be interesting. But I still don't I thought they said the only person that could manipulate the whale was Sasha. I would have cross examined Sasha. I don't even know how Cross examine the court. <laughs> Luke says we should uh, we should cross examine the captain who's uh, dead. Oh, Luke says we should cross-examine the girlfriend who's already dead. Bring a spirit medium like the old game. Luke says we need to bring a spirit medium and cross-examine the girlfriend. Yeah, the girlfriend did it. Mm -hmm. That's the boyfriend from beyond the grave. Yeah, maybe she, maybe the spirit possessed somebody to do it. Yeah, there you go. Well, what about Azura? She was the previous trainer. That's right, Peter. Doesn't Sasha speak whale or something? I thought so, Geo. I assume we would be cross-examining Sasha. I was just kidding about the whale. I don't even know what's happening at this point. I feel like I'm in a weird dream. Also, how did this um, Mr. Marlin, how did he grow three sizes? Performance enhancing growth. <laughs> Maybe he was just like... Are you? Is your leg okay? It seems like Yarr! you. Seems like you smashed your leg I did on smash something. My leg. All right, here we go. Next chapter. Where's my controller? Okay, here we go. July twenty second, eleven twenty one a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Three. Yeah, people are saying pearls could do it. Spirit medium. If we need a spirit medium. Yeah, we should have pearls. We should have pearls. Uh, summon the spirit of. Uh, Marlon's girlfriend, Azura. Okay, focus. Leave it to you to think of something like calling Orla, Mr. Wright. Ah, <laughs> well, she's the only one who knows all the answers, after all. Um... I just talked to Pearls, and she said that Orla seems to be feeling fine. Now we have to try to figure out how Mr. Rhymes manipulated the whale. If we put Mr. Rhymes and Orla together, maybe we can get some kind of clue. And I can't forget about that strange set of prints of Rhymes, either. Hmm. I really appreciate you trying to save both Orla and me. I had no idea Marlin hated Orla like that. I feel like I've been shocked by a torpedo ray. Of course he would hate that killer whale that murdered his girlfriend right in front of him. Oh, Mr. Plume, you've been watching this trial? Uh, oh, yes, I came to make a declaration of war. The, the, the declaration of war? No matter what the results of today's trial, I will report the truth in my new book. Even if that truth goes against what I wrote in the Killer Killer Whale book. I don't know what the truth is. Not even about what happened a year ago. Dr. Crab, Azura died right in front of my eyes, in the middle of a pirate show. She suddenly fell from the orca's back and began to thrash around in pain. Mm. So the orca was singing a song and then started headbutting Azura over and over. Finally, the orca took Azura in her mouth and brought her to the side of the pool. Just before she died, Azura was holding her chest in an obvious pain. 
She was holding her chest. She had a heart attack. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That means that she didn't die from the whale. She had a heart attack. So Oral was trying to save her. She was probably trying to do chest comp um, pressure or whatever. She was trying to probably start her heart again. Oh, oh that is so sad! So Orla never... Orla was telling the truth! Oh, that is so sad! That's heartbreaking! Orla wasn't a bad whale! She was a good whale! She was trying to do the right thing! Oh my god! She was holding her chest. Wait a minute! Could it be? I don't think Orla was to blame for the incident a year ago either. What? I think that the cause of Miss Summer's death might have been... Her heart condition. Hot condition? What hot condition? Never heard of anything about it. Miss Summers. Whoa, excuse me. Miss Summers had his prescription with a Hickfield clinic for a heart condition. The orca didn't kill her. I think it's possible the heart condition did. Oh, wow. What? Oh, Azura had a heart condition too? Oh, I guess she hid it from everybody. Just like I did. So that means the orca was innocent a year ago too? <gasps> it's just a theory, but I think the orca headbutted Azura to check on her and then did the life-saving trick to rescue her. So there was no need to put the orca down after all. Hmm. So you really did intend to put orca down, huh? No, Jack and I were against such a thing from the start. But, but, but you said you were going to euthanize the orca, Doctor! Yeah, I've been wondering about that, too. Dr. Crab, about this capsule, it's not a poison but a sleeping drug, right? That's right. Even if Orla attacks someone, or even if the Center for Dangerous Animals Control demands she be put down, I never had any intention of killing her. I would use sleeping pills to make it look like she was dead and then set her free. <gasps> oh. That is why I purchased so many sleeping capsules. Oh, he was gonna he was gonna set her into the ocean, I Free think. Free Willy! Free Willy! Oh, that's why. Oh. Oh, you were wrong, lady! You were wrong! I never considered the possibility that the poor woman's death was just an her illness! She seems pretty disturbed to be wrong. You were wrong! You should be ashamed of yourself! I simply want to know the truth now. That's why I will tell you who my client is. The day I witnessed the owner's death, I was there at the request of the animal keeper. Marlon Rhymes? That is correct. That day, my client called me to ask me to investigate the orca pool. He must have wanted you to witness what Orla was going to do. Why decide to tell us this now? My desire to protect my client was standing in the way of the truth. I couldn't allow that. I will be watching to see how all this unfolds. Good luck to you, blue and yellow duo. <clears throat> She's probably going to write about these two in her next book. Well, that was quite a bombshell she just dropped. And so casually, too. That woman really is a free spirit. Do you remember what you said yesterday, Mr. Lawyer? That you'd expose any secret if it would help save Sasha. I remember. It's my duty as a lawyer. Well, I just wanted you to know that I don't blame you for exposing the aquarium secret. It may put me in hot water, but if it helps save Orca, let me clue you in on another secret. Focus on the Orca's song. The Orca's song? Huh? What could he be hinting at? Hmm... Oh, Mr. Wright! Looks like it's time to go. All right, let's go back in, gang. You got it, boss! We're gonna go in there and save Sasha and Orla together. Ow! Wow. All right, guys, let's get those likes up. We're almost at 120. Let's go! Trial resumes. 
Whale. Whale in court. All right. All right, guys. We're about uh, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're about six likes away from 120. We're at the one hour and eight minute mark. Let's get those likes up before the 115. You're almost there for your next goal. All right, everyone. The court will now reconvene. Is the witness, uh, the whale, commonly known as Orda, ready? Well, the orca is present, but I highly doubt she understands what's going on. Sweet, sweet. Oh, just as adorable as yesterday. I distinctly remember you being afraid of her on several occasions, Your Honor. Now then, Mr. Knight, how do you propose to cross-examine a whale? I intend <laughs> to have the young lady there with Orla help me. Mm. Hello, everyone. A young lady, didn't I meet her once before a long time ago? Yes, that's Pearl Fay, my old friend. Ah, uh, well, well. Didn't she... Didn't she grow up to be a lovely young lady? Oh! <laughs> I have no interest in this chit-chat. On with the cross-examination. Wow. Mr. Knight, this is all your fault. Why are you dwaddling? <laughs> How is this my fault? The court will now hear the testimony of Order Shipley. How is this gonna work? Five likes away, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to action. How was Orla manipulated? <laughs> they can't be serious. <laughs> That's a click noise for you? <laughs> there. It sounds like someone's strangling there. the whale. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is stupid. Wait, 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 wait. I have so many words. Mr. Knight, you're making a mockery of my courtroom. I do not appreciate this. <laughs> you even brought a monkey to court once. <laughs> now you bring a whale. <laughs> the whale's going... Bailiff! The whale's talking in complete sentences. This is, um... <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Do you seriously intend to cross-examine a whale in my courtroom? Um... Well, she is a key witness for the defense, so... Yes? Every time you come to my courtroom, you open my eyes to a new way of thinking, and also you make me sad. It appears this will be another one of those times. Yep, he's giving me the go-ahead. I'd now like to put the witness and Mr. Rhymes together to see how he manipulated the orca. Hopefully Orla will have some kind of reaction. Fine by me, but not will happen, I tell ye. was right nothing even happened i guess i shouldn't have expected it to be easy hmm how did he manipulate her mm. right don't know i hope you realize that if you can't prove with this cross-examination how rhymes controlled the orca your defendant will be declared guilty immediately uh yeah i realize that give me a minute <laughs> this is my last chance. I have to figure out how Rhymes commanded Orla to do her tricks. Please mm. begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Oh my gosh. It's all you, Mr. Wright. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How was Orla manipulated? Her testimony. <laughs> this is absurd. This is absurd. <laughs> I can't wait for you to press her statements. All right, here we go. And say, wait, wait, objection. Here we go. Wait, Hold wait. it. Wait. All right, whale. Miss Shipley, I'm afraid. Wait, wait, wait. That's just stupid. Yeah. This is a real game! This is yeah, so stupid! 
<laughs> Ace is Capcom. Ace is. <laughs> You did a spit take, didn't you? <laughs> Where did you spit No, the water? I didn't spit anything. I'm fine. Did you get the water anymore? No, I'm fine. All right, you almost became electrocuted. All right, here I go. Straight face. Come on, guys. You got to get the likes up for this Looks because like... this, is, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay, because I, I got to get something for this. Come on, Luke's drowning here. Oh, fine. <laughs> He's in over his head. He's... He's, uh, treading water. He's barely keeping afloat. Okay, okay, okay. Miss Shipley, I'm afraid Fweet 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 <laughs> is not gonna get us anywhere. <laughs> huh. This is your plan of action? <laughs> oh my god. You're incapable of interpreting Orca's speech. This entire exercise is folly. Objection! Objection! You leave the interpretation of Orla's heart to me! I'm listening to her heart, Blackwell! I can understand what she's saying! I speak well! Alright, girl, what have you got to say? Let me hear it! Wait, wait, wait! Um, well, I didn't quite catch that! Oh, Orla, you're so cute! You make weird noises I can't understand at all! I don't know. Surely you don't intend to continue this farce. I do! Miss Shipley, please continue with your testimony. How is she going to remember what line she's on? Wait, 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 wait. Hmm, could you interpret that for the court, Miss Sykes? Ahem. <clears throat> I'm getting a strong reading of happiness. Maybe she thinks she's doing, like, a show or something, uh, Mr. Wright? <laughs> I demand serious witness testimony. This is no time for fun and games. If you continue this mockery, I will subject you to 40 lashes with a wet fish. Uh, not a wet noodle? That just sounds fishy, Mr. Blackwell. Hey, speaking from experience, anything is better than 40 lashes from a whip. Yeah. The defense will please caution its witness to conduct herself with, uh, prop, prop, propriety. Propriety. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> um, instead of impersonating a one orca band, could you show us the lifesaver trick? I guess Orla won't do what you want unless you give her the proper signal, Mr. Wright. Oh! Doesn't Orla sing so beautifully? Huh. Taka's singing voice is much more melodic and clear. Square! Meh. Neither one should quit their day job. Please continue with your testimony, whale. <laughs> Fweet? 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 Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> hmm. Miss Shipley seems to want to communicate with us. Something... <laughs> Wait! Wait! <clears throat> Perhaps she's hungry. Miss Faye, could you please give Miss Shipley a snack? Maybe that'll make her more cooperative. <laughs> Certainly. One moment, Mr. Wright. Nick. Wait! Wait! What a hot warming scene. It reminds me of my granddaughter with her pet. <laughs> wow, your granddaughter must have a pretty large pet. Stop all this pet prattle and get on with the cross-examination. But she's such an adorable creature. I never get tired of looking at her. Silence. <laughs> oh my God! I, on the other hand, have had more than fill of this tomfoolery. Enough is enough. It sounds like Prosecutor Blackwell is about to blow his top. What should I do? Continue the cross-examination? Yes! <laughs> I'm not finished with talking with the whale. <sighs> you have just exhausted my patience, right, Dono? <laughs> Mr. Knight, please finish as quickly as you can because I'm going insane. Yes, Your Honor. But I'm not really sure how to continue to tell the truth. Mr. Rhymes had to have commanded Orla somehow, Mr. Wright. We have to figure it out. Let's keep cross-examining Orla's statements extremely hard until she gives us the answers we're looking for! Make sure to really grill her! Did you just do a fish joke? 
How dare you? Do you have anything in the evidence we could use, maybe? With Orla, it's not like I can present evidence that contradicts a particular statement. I guess it doesn't matter which statement. Hmm, what should be used to command Orla? Witness, please continue with your testimony. It's very soothing. <laughs> fleet, 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 fleet. Hold it! Miss Shipley, point to me the man responsible for murdering the ship's captain. This is your plan of action? This is stupid. Objection! You leave the interpretation of Orla's heart to me! Uh, alright girl, what do you have to say? Fleet! 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 <laughs> this isn't working. Orla, you're so cute! Right? Surely you don't intend to continue this farce. I do! Miss Shipley! Just point your fin at the person responsible for killing that other person! Learn human speech! Your friend Sasha's on the line! Okay, you're- you're clapping your fins together, so please, just please, point- point please, at the murderer! Please, please. Just point your fins at the murderer! Please, you're please. worse than that stupid monkey! Just point! Please. Stop clicking and please. point! Point, darn you, point! Please, please. Please. This is getting us nowhere. I wonder what statement we should press on. Who cares? Where? I need a drink. I'll be right back. Fleet. <clears throat> All right, chat. What do you want us to? What do you want us to do? Present what? Point to, what? I think you want to press on this statement. This seems like there's a contradiction here. How is there a contradiction a, here? <laughs> she said, "Fleet, fleet, fleet." There's something going on. Have a fish. <laughs> That statement is clear. <laughs> oh no, Luke, we're gonna lose a point. I don't care. Why would he even? <laughs> we tried. We gave her a fish. That statement is a clear and consistent with the evidence, Your Honor, of this fish. <laughs> what? You're waving your finger about aimlessly. Is it gonna help you win this trial? I'm so confused right now. I agree. Nothing inconsistent with that evidence oh, about no! the fleet, fleet, fleet of the stupid <laughs> dolphin thing. Is... We lost a point! Ah, that must have the wrong evidence! Whoopsie. I sure it was the fish that did it. Fleet! 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 Press her! Press her again! I think we should press all the statements again. I'm not pressing them all again. I'm just gonna randomly present <laughs> evidence. No, Luke, we're gonna lose points. We're presenting evidence! Luke, I think you should say it first. You're not gonna get very many... Try oh, this! Luke, okay. Objection! That statement is clearly inconsistent with the evidence, Your Honor. I hope you don't think waving your finger aimlessly. You're an idiot. Mm, I agree. He is an idiot. He brought a talking dolphin into my courtroom. You only have two points left. I must have the wrong evidence. Okay, I would press everything first. We already pressed everything. Yeah, and then when they said, do you want to continue or not? Maybe when next time you just say, don't continue. See what they do next time. <clears throat> Maybe save now and then see what happens when you say don't continue. Fine. I don't know. I'm just an, it's just an idea. Or we could keep going with this. No, I, I really don't want to keep talking to the weird killer whale. Fleet? Oh, there's a consult option. Fleet, fleet. Mr. Wright, I think I have something here. Woo! All right, maybe. You sent something wrong with the testimony? You yes. speak well. That's right. Let me show you which statement I thought was strange. Thanks. That would be a big help because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm drowning here. Hmm. I'll just have to compare the evidence with the statement she shows me. I'll just fillet it all out for you. <sighs> free, free, free. Oh, they're saying present. What? What do you want me to present? I don't. Why? It's telling me to present something. What do you want me to present? Uh, um, 
Why is it telling me to present? I don't... It's glowing yellow. Oh, why is it going yellow? I wouldn't present anything. Unless you want to present... <clears throat> you try presenting that, um... Figure... We're supposed to be figuring out how Marlin could have... Uh, manipulated her to... <clears throat> to make it look like she was, um... You know, setting her up to to be the murderer, right? So maybe you could present evidence that says Miss that. Shipley seems to want to communicate something. <laughs> Wait. Perhaps. Perhaps. Whoops. Perhaps she's hungry again, Mr. Wright. I Miss mean... Faye, could you please give her a snack? Maybe she'll be more cooperative. Certainly. One moment, Mr. Nick. <laughs> Wait. Did someone just make a weird swallowing sound in my courtroom? It was very strange. It reminds me of my granddaughter with her pet. Wait. <laughs> Alright, this is just getting really ridiculous. Your granddaughter must have a very large pet. Stop this prattle. If I could actually... Oh. Yes, that's what Phoenix would sound like if it came from Athena. If I could actually constant communicate with the whale. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is... Yeah. Even if we can't understand what she's saying, at least we can understand her heart. Can't you understand her heart, Mr. Wright? Can't you hear her heart? Mr. Wright, don't you hear the Just whale's so heart? Justo Kenobi, thank you for the super chat for this hilarious case. <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you, Justo Kenobi. You're breathtaking! Luke, did you read it? Re what? Oh, wow, what? what did it say? I, I paraphrased it. What? I didn't hear anything of what it said. Oh, okay. I thought you get extra super My chat dad... because of hilarious case. You got an extra super chat because of yeah, hilarious case. this case because of the hilariousness. Okay, thank yeah. you, just all your breathtaking. Yeah. Thank you so much. Even if we can't understand what she's saying, at least we can understand her heart, right, Mr. Wright? Can't you understand her heart? We can just figure out how Mr. Rams commanded her. I'm sure Orla will confirm it. Mr. Rhymes make Orla do those tricks. Maybe he used the penguin to communicate. <clears throat> we have oh. to find the answer somehow. Well, we have evidence of how, remember they said the videotape can record stuff that even humans can't hear. So the videotape probably recorded the whistle. Wait, wait. What, what, what statement do you want Quick. me to press? I, I did everything. So where do I present this evidence? I mean, you already did two random presents, so we don't have very many... Things. I would just stop the cross-examination and present evidence. I don't know. I don't know how to stop the cross-examination. <clears throat> we had an option. You'd have to You'd have to press on every statement again to I, stop it. I did press every statement. If you pressed it the first time, then they asked you if you wanted to keep going. You said, yes, I want to keep going. So now we're doing it all over again. Uh, now you have to press every statement again. <clears throat> Unless you want to present the video phone. Because that's the only way they could possibly record. That's the only way they could have recorded the stuff. I don't know why you used all your... You used your stuff by presenting fish, so we're screwed. I don't know why you did that, because we're about to die. <clears throat> Alright, so we... Why don't I... You want me to press, press on every I, statement? I went... I'm going through every statement. I'm just putting it on autoplay. Okay. Okay, so this is statement number two. Oh, now. you'll have to press on that one. Yep. Holy! I can try to put that in the court. Whoosh. Getting a strong reading of happiness. I think she's doing a show. I'm not reading this anymore. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. Smile. Smirk. Not all wet noodle, that just sounds fishy. Hey, I'm speaking to a whale in court. <laughs> this is the most absurd thing I've ever seen and witnessed in my life. There's somebody regrets. Wait, wait, wait! Such an adorable creature, though. Regrets are now gone. Silence. I hate you all, and I'm planning your murder. You're already a murderer. Wait, he's already in jail for killing people. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna continue this <laughs> absurdity of talking to this whale. Stop! 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 <laughs> I'm done playing games! I'll now explain how it was done or something. 
In order to respond to the command, Orla needs to hear the sound of a stupid whistle. But Mr. Rhymes isn't a trainer. I doubt he'd know how to give signals himself. So that means he must have had help from the penguins. What? How did Mr. Rhymes issue his commands to Orla? I mean, the evidence of how he did it is on the phone because the phone would have recorded all the commands. Because they said it records... If they said it records sounds above human hearing. It has to be the phone. Sasha told me in an interesting story about Miss Summers. Azura used to send her boyfriend videos of herself teaching the orca tricks. I used to help Azura take the videos on her TV phone. Most likely, Mr. Rhymes still has these videos of Miss Summers. Oh! Miss Faye, could I ask for your help, please? Oh! Of course, Mr. Nick. What is it? You're using Mr. Rhymes' TV phone, correct? I'd like you to examine it for me. Please look for the videos of Azora Summers using... issuing whistle commands to Orla. Um, videos? I'm not sure how to do that, but I'll give it a try, Mr. Nick. My apologies to Marlon. Right, don't know. What are you up to? I don't know what I'm up to. So if his girlfriend knew how to issue the commands, but he didn't, he could just play her issuing the commands that he videotaped his girlfriend. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I really don't care anymore. I think we should cross-examine the whale more. No more talking to the whale! <laughs> it's stupid. That's what I'm going as no. for Halloween is that whale. I'm going to be I'm gonna have an orca costume and I'm just going to say fweet all day. <laughs> What are you up to? <laughs> You'll see in a minute if Pearls can find those videos for me, you know. But, I mean, kids today with technology, right? Am I right? Am I right? Wait! <laughs> Mr. Nick, I found them. I found some videos like you described. You did? Uh, thank you, Miss Faye. Just as I suspected. Luke, why didn't you ask the whale? How did Marlon Rhymes get Orla to do those tricks? I will now show you. With Mr. Rhyme's cell phone. His cell phone? Are you implying he used an app? Miss Faye, see if you can issue Orla a command. Me? How can I do such a thing, Mr. Nick? Uh, you might be able to if you play a video with a whistle signal in it. If there's a video of the lifesaver trick, please play that. Before you do, though, please put the practice dummy in the pool. Practice to me? Alright! Then it goes! There, it sank to the bottom, Mr. Nick! Free? Now I will play the video! Orla's diving down, heading straight for that dummy! Zelda. Got your little, your own little furry my, orca whale my here. My furry whale ran away. <laughs> you press the button. Orla is diving down, heading straight for the dummy. Flee! 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 Ha ha! What a smart girl you are, Orla! The lifesaver trick was a complete success, Mr. Nick. Thank you, Miss Faye. You were a big help. Now I have proof. Ha <laughs> ha! Huh. Unbelievable. You actually pulled it off. That was, uh, the lifesaver trick we saw yesterday. Is Miss Faye, uh, an orca trainer now? No, Your Honor. I'll explain after we try one more trick. Now, let's see if we can command Orla to do the singing trick. Miss Faye. If there's a video of the singing trick, please play that. Certainly, Mr. Nick. <clears throat> Let's see. Is it this video? Wait, 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 wait,
<laughs> oh, what a lovely singing voice the whale has. Whee! My gosh. Mm. Huh. It wasn't bad. By the way, how did Miss Faye give the orca to those commands? Marlon Rhymes has something on his phone that his girlfriend Azura Summer sent him. There are videos of Miss Summers issuing commands to Orla with a whistle. If they have Orla listen to the sounds of the signals, anyone at all can command the whale. My, mm. anyone at all? Yeah, I believe so, Your Honor. All they would have to do is play those videos. Mr. Knight, please submit those videos as evidence. I'm getting the sneaking suspicion the judge just wants to try it out for himself. Miss Faye, could you send those videos to the TV phone right here? All right, certainly. Hmm, got him. All right, I'll try playing one now. Mr. Wright? Oh, wow. <laughs> she was training. That was a training session a year ago, huh? But wait a minute. There's something about that song that bothers me. TV phone updated in the court record. If the orca can't be commanded using videos on a cell phone, then that means that Marlon Rames Grimes could have manipulated the creature. Arr! Mr. Rhymes, you can't talk your way out of it now. Silence. <laughs> I have to commend you. That was a very good proof. I concede Marlon Rhymes could have manipulated the Orca. But isn't it true that the defendant could have done it as well? All she had to do was use the whistle, the whistle she knows how to use so well. And so, and she wouldn't have had to use those videos, surely you admit it's a possibility. She could have easily had Norma Duplume witness the singing and the lifesaver trick. So he's trying to argue it was equally possible for Sasha as well as for Rhymes, huh? But is it true? Let me think about that for a minute. That's right! Those weren't just simple cries. It was singing. Singing, I heard. As I approached the pool, the killer whale suddenly started singing. It was horrifying. I kept headbutting while it sang the Squash Buckle Spectacular Song! The culprit made use of Miss De Plume. <laughs> the culprit made sure that Miss De Plume heard the song and saw the lifesaver trick. Could Sasha have shown these two tricks to the witness? Um. Uh, could she? Um. There's no way. No, because she can't do two tricks at once. We already found that out. She couldn't have. She couldn't, couldn't have. have. No. Okay. She can only do one trick. No, at a time. I don't think Miss Buckler could have created the same conditions as the culprit. You challenge me to a battle. I hope your sword is sharpened. Well, let me see those sword skills of yours. Don't you worry. My sword is drawn and ready. My sword is evidence that the two tricks couldn't have been shown at the same time. Because of the whistle can only be blown once. <clears throat> you can only do one trick at a time. Take that! Miss Plume said in her testimony that she witnessed these two tricks at the same time. However, the fact is inconsistent with how Orla performs tricks. How the whale performs tricks? What are you talking about? Orla can't perform two tricks at once. She performs only one trick per whistle signal. That's how she's been trained. Mm, in other words, it would be just like with a dog. If you tell him to both sit and shake, he won't do them at the same time. Yeah, that's true. I'm understanding it correctly. 
Yeah, that's the idea, Your Honor. I wonder if the judge had a dog. Heh. Yeah, that's right. Ha 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 ha. What a farce. So you're saying that the witness somehow managed to produce an impossible scenario? If Creature's own trainer couldn't do it, how could I? Uh. Uh. Yeah, it's a mystery, isn't it? Mm. Boss, you don't have to agree so cheerfully to the opposition! Uh. The defense is claiming that Marlon Rhymes manipulated the Orca. But if you cannot explain fully this was done, your argument doesn't hold water. Huh. Now, if you can't straighten out your own theory, would you like to straighten... Would you like me to straighten you out? No, thank you! Hmm, so Orla can't do two tricks at the same time, boss. But Mr. Plume saw her do two tricks at the same time. This logical inconsistency means there's a flaw somewhere here. Was Mr. Plume lying? Or is it not true that Orla can't do two tricks at a time? But Mr. Plume had no reason to lie about such a thing! It really is impossible for Orla to perform two tricks at once. Maybe either the lifesaver trick or the singing trick was faked? Faked? Yeah, maybe Orla only performed one of the tricks. But it was made to look like she performed two. Silence! Huh? Huh, why would it even Maybe? do that? Maybe? How do you expect, expect to conduct a sword battle with conjecture? Sounds like I'd better present some evidence here and fast. Although I am concerned about your profuse sweating, uh, profuse sweating, Mr. Wright, uh, allow me to ask you. Which of these two was fake? The lifesaver trick or the singing trick? Um, well, the lifesaver trick wasn't, wasn't faked because he did... Because Orla did bring him up to the top. It has His to be body... The s so the song had to be faked. The song, I guess. Maybe he played the whale song near Ms. De Plume while she was looking at the tank. So she thought the whale was singing, but the whale wasn't. Mm -hmm. Maybe he had a, a boombox next to Mr. Plume. Maybe he memorized how the song was in Whale, and he repeated it next to her ear. Fweet, fweet, fweet. And she was... <laughs> She was looking into Never, the This tape. is ridiculous. Fine. The, the song, song was faked. He sang the song. The defense wishes to argue that the singing trick was faked. And on what grounds do you base your assertion that the singing trick was faked? Maybe he played a video of one of their previous thingies. Or they recorded the song <laughs> earlier or something. So you want me to present the swashbuckler video? Uh, is the song on that video? The show song on the video. Yes. Take that. Yes. This is a recording of the recent Swashbuckler Spectacular. In this recording, Orla sings the same song as she sang for Miss Faye earlier. Hmm. But Miss De Plume said this song is different from the one that was sung a year ago. The song is different? Please listen to the song in the video from a year ago sent to the cell phone. Oh, it was on the cell phone. Wait, 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 um, yes, it sounds quite different from the song Orla sang for Miss Faye. And yet, this is the same video Miss Faye used to issue the command to Orla to sing. By having Mr. Plume listen to the song recorded in the cell phone video... The true culprit made Mr. Plume think Orla was singing the song from a year ago. Yeah, that was a rocking song. Yeah. Only Marlin, the owner of the cell phone videos, could have done this. Silence. But Mr. Plume said she heard the orca singing. How do you claim he made her think that? How was the song recording played? I tend to explain that too, of course. What? The answer lies somewhere in the heat of battle. I mean, in the orca pool. <laughs> Marlon Rhymes played the song recording by using this. This that speaker thing that's from up there. Look at there's something. Is that's a video camera? Okay, I guess we'll try it. Mr. Plume heard the song while she was in the orca pool visitors corridor. 
There's a speaker in that corridor so the visitors can hear the orca sounds. And you claim the song was played from that speaker? How? Here's how Rhymes played the song over the speaker in the visitor's corridor. His cell phone! I guess. Yeah, or if there's anything else, like... What is anything else? Mm, cell phone, or... Yeah, it would seem a cell phone. She said she heard a different thing. That's the... Wait, which one's the original rocking one? Can that... What is that? Can we look at everything possible? What is, what's going on with that sword? What, the walkie-talkie? <clears throat> it says it can be used to broadcast in the aquarium, Luke. Okay. I guess we could try it. I don't Why know. not? Mr. Rhymes could broadcast a song in the video to the speaker by using a walkie-talkie. And he could get Orla to do the trick by letting her hear Miss Summer's whistle signal, too. He played the singing through the speaker and he made Orla do the life-saving trick. All this was doing... All this was the doing of the true culprit, Marlon Rhymes! Gah! This is what you did, isn't it, Mr. Rhymes? Confess! Ah! Yar! You did it! Now we can save both Sasha and Orla, Mr. Wright! I'm. You just leave it to Captain Wright's washbuckling lawyers to win any case! I don't remember agreeing to that name. That's our new name! So it was actually possible for Mr. Rhymes to manipulate the orca? I'm stunned. I see we will need to hear more about this from the witness. Mr. Rhymes! The time has come for you to tell the court the truth! He's gonna find a way of extending this another hour, isn't he? Um... <laughs> jump, 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 How do you like sea creatures? Why is he... He's eating... eating a... So I used a walkie-talkie, you say? Ah, oh, sorry, but you're dead wrong, me bucko. It would be impossible, says I. What do you mean impossible? <laughs> what? Shall I sing you a she shanty, dissing your scurvy theory? Hockey well now? Oh no. Uh oh. We have to do more testimony after we already went through an hour of testimony with the whale. The dissing of Phoenix Wright? Oh, he's gonna diss you, Luke. You're about to be dissed. I'm gonna have to do a diss track. Prepare to be roasted. Phoenix Wright! His hair is so pointy. He is bad at being a lawyer, and okay, that okay, is... Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to hear this. Yeah. How long is this case? <laughs> Four trillion hours long, Luke. Uh, do we have, like, enough for another hour episode? Like, what's going on? Uh-oh, says Crossfighter. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Shh. Let's do it. Walkie talkie beat broke real. Mr. Lawyer's freestyle got no appeal. Oh! Broke the plume, no just seen. Broke right, could have been legit goof during its cleaning. I some plugging lawyers, spitting lies. Orca, she don't listen to me, K. Kill the captain, you see you cray cray. Whoa. That went really fast. That was way too fast. That was pretty, that was pretty harsh. Uh, and here we are again with the flip flop. <laughs> Broken of all the flimsy excuses. Bilge sucking? That was uncalled for. You probably broke it on purpose after the fact! Yeah, that'd be true, Lassen. Although he can't prove when it was really... Whatever. Lucky be for me, you lawyers be the ones who've proven to do. Uh, after everything we've uncovered, he still won't admit it. Somehow I have to prove that he still could have done it. Wow. cross examine his crap. Dissing of Phoenix right. Mm -hmm. Walkie talkie be broke for real. Mr. Loyal's freestyle got no appeal. Hold it! Mm -hmm. Mr. Rhymes, are you sure it was your walkie talkie that was broken? Of course, I'll be sure. Though it doesn't have my name written on it or nothing. But you can't prove it. Not me, walkie talkie. Now, can ye? Never save <laughs> Sasha this way. Oh, I have no. to figure out how to get a command to Orla. If Rhymes couldn't. Uh, command to the orca, your theory crumbles. Everything you've done will go up in smoke. I bet uh, I'd be on that prosecution side. Neither mind ye, the defendant is innocent, but says I. But either way, me walkie talkie was broken, and that be the truth. Sasha's walkie talkie somehow. Mm. Broke before the plume on the scene, broke for right, could have ever dreamed. 
Hold it! Hold it! Do you have some way of proving that statement? Silence! The burden of proof is on you. If you can't do that, then the end of cross-examination now. Ah. Uh. Uh-oh. Ahoy, yo, 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 ho! Proof that it broke. Bro, you a joke. Lag even a second and you're gonna choke. Right wanna press on every word? Nope, judge gonna judge, undeterred. You gone front, then bring the pain, or stop and walk in shame. Oh, he makes me so mad! We gotta come up with our own freestyle now, boss! No, you're the one who's gonna be lying! And after we prove the orca... Ah! Let's get him back with the evidence instead. No singing. Witness, please refrain from the walkie rap. Legit goof during cleaning time, I but bilge sucking loiter spitting lies. Hold it. You made a big blunder. What happened, yo? After I helped Sasha with the cleaning, I dropped it by accident and broke it. Uh -huh. You wish to see it? I still have it with me. Mm, it does indeed appear to be broken. Ha <laughs> ha! With me walkie talkie broken, there be no way I could have done what ye said. I couldn't have given the orca any commands. Oh, your walkie-talkie broke. Isn't that just so convenient? Mr. Rhymes, I think you broke it on purpose! <sighs> Miss Lawyer, none of your false accusations, if you please. I broke it on purpose. Where be your proof? I don't have any proof at the moment! His walkie-talkie was broken and throws a monkey wrench into my whole theory. When he let Pearls borrow his cell phone so casually yesterday, he must have already been confident I wouldn't be able to prove anything. Ya hard! You get nothing to agree that Pox Orca be innocent. If something not be about her, she'll be Sasha one day too. The Orca killed the captain if it weren't me. Uh, hmm. So you intend to continue to claim the defendant is innocent, do you? But I won't stand for that. Now then. Right, Dono, what's your next move? Your Honor, I would like to examine that walkie-talkie if you don't mind. Certainly, here you are. Let's see if there's any way to tell when the walkie-talkie was broken. If he gave Orlo that command, then it couldn't have been broken at that time! I can use the Rotate for Evidence, an X to examine. You can also zoom, zoom in and out with... Triangle and circle. I don't know what June means. Now, let's check off every last inch of it for anything that may be off, Mr. Wright. Okay. Zoom. I mean, there's a crack Whoa, in it. Oh, look at that. There's bite marks. It broke because it had bite marks in it. Yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, that's off. <clears throat> Huh? Look at these! They look like tooth marks, Mr. Wright! Hey, you're right! A bite this big? I wonder if it was Orla. Wait, a walkie-talkie with tooth marks? Didn't we hear a story like that just yesterday? It was the walkie-talkie Azura used right up until her death. In the middle of the show, the orca brought Azura up to the surface in her mouth. But she left tooth marks in Azura's walkie-talkie. The captain said he always kept that walkie-talkie with him, so he'd never forget. Rhyme said this walkie-talkie was his. But could it be? <laughs> Not odd about it, don't you agree? Time to give up, Mr. Lawyer, you see. Forget the orca, just save Sasha, says I. I can't do that. Now that I'm finally a lawyer again, how could I hold my head up if I made my client so miserable? Stubborn one, ye be. That orca, yo, don't listen to me, K. Kill the captain. Yo, yo, you so cray cray. I mean, that third statement seems. Legit goofed cleaning eye, but build sucking lawyers spitting lies. Uh, ouch, my eye. Mm. 
walkie-talkie be broke for real, Mr. Loyo's freestyle got no appeal. We already pressed on all the statements? I believe so. Uh... Well, I didn't press on the last one. Hold it! There could have been some other way besides the walkie-talkie to issue the command. Silence! Yeah, the orca could have received a signal from the defendant's whistle. Is this the point you're trying to concede? Objection! No, that's not what I'm talking about. Some other way besides the whistle. Uh-oh. Rotten lawyer, black-eyed samurai, time for a freestyle drive-by. Sasha's legit, that's the truth. Orca's guilty, you gotta admit. What's your mother? <laughs> I tell you it all by Orca's doing. If you don't belay this bilge, I say dis ye some rap. He's doing pirate uh, rap. I believe they've already been doing that. Hmm, we tried pressing him, but it didn't change anything at all, Mr. Wright. Oh, I don't know about that. His statement might not have changed, but the meaning of one of them have. Really? You caught something? And that one statement might be the breakthrough. Yo, walkie-talkie be broke for real. Mr. Lawyer's freestyle got no appeal. Did we already press on that one? Can we? Yeah, we did. Okay. So we'll try presenting. He says the walkie-talkie's broken. So we'll do that. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna save again, just in case. Gonna save, just in case. Yeah, because I made you... I made you present the penguin, so that's why we're down one. It's okay. <clears throat> I had fun presenting the penguin. Um. Press the first one again. Hold it. Are you sure it was your walkie-talkie? You could have stolen a broken walkie-talkie from somebody else. Or oh, if you'd be accusing me of thievery, let me see your proof. All right. This evidence tells. Me uh, this evidence tells who you stole the walkie-talkie from. What? Well, look at the... <clears throat> um... What is that? What is in that manila envelope again? What was that? Shipley's walkie-talkie hasn't been found. What do you want me to present, Amber? The data? I think the data on the walkie-talkie. Okay. According to the defendant's statement, Mr. Shipley talked to her on his walkie-talkie before his death. However, no walkie-talkie was found near the victim's body. Methinks the police just didn't look hard enough. Besides, the captain's walkie-talkie wasn't broken. Be that not right? So his walkie-talkie is not to do with mine. I'm not sure that's true. The victim fell through his death. It's quite possible his walkie-talkie broke in the fall. You stole the walkie-talkie after the victim's death, didn't you, Mr. Rhymes? Silence! Oh, wow. <laughs> I will not allow such leading questions, right, Dono? Hmm. If you claim the walkie-talkie belonged to the victim, show me your evidence. Certainly, I plan on doing just that. Please look at these tooth marks here on the walkie-talkie. Tooth marks? Ah, oh, yes, I see them. The victim's walkie-talkie was a keepsake that used to belong to Azura Summers, who died a year ago. These tooth marks were left by Orla when she carried Miss Summers in her mouth. Hmm. Hmm, if this is Mr. Shapley's walkie-talkie, then Mr. Rhymes' walkie-talkie is still unaccounted for. Which means he could have used it to command Orla after all. And that's not all, Your Honor. The only one who could have taken the victim's walkie-talkie is the culprit himself. Arr. The fact that Marlon Rhymes had the victim's walkie-talkie is proof that he murdered Jack Shipley. <gasps> Whoa. I mean, he does have an item off a person's dead body. That's kind of disturbing. So, oh, sink me. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Not so fast, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He still won't admit it. This walkie-talkie be mine, says I. Then how do you explain the tooth marks on it? I've had many runs in with that orca myself. She bit me more than once, and me walkie-talkie too. The evidence of our fights are carved here into my body. My goodness, I can clearly see the tooth marks scars in your skin. What? Are those really scars from being bitten by Orla? Ahoy, yo, yo ho! You want answers? I got some, mate. These scars from Orla, that's right. Them girl can put up a nasty fight. That orca bite me and left me scarred. Had a rep to protect, so I went in hard. So, Mr. Lawyer, I win, just be frank. And Orla, heh, you got the plank. Oh, wow, that was actually clever. I can't let him run this show. I have to find a way to prove the walkie-talkie belonged to the victim. And you can't forget those fingerprints. I always keep my walkie-talkie clean and polished. This man had everything worked out before he even took the stand. But I won't give up. There has to be a way. Wow. Mr. Wright, I found something really interesting here. One sec. <laughs> this track. This is a... Walkie-talkie. Huh? The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie. Notice anything funny about them? Funny? Funny how? Something is different about them compared to the other tooth marks we've seen. Hmm, the only other ones I remember are the ones on the practice dummy. It's just a tiny difference. It might not even mean anything, Mr. Wright. Right now, we need to consider every possibility we can, no matter how small. If I can figure out what's the difference about the bite marks, maybe I can somehow prove Rhyme's walkie-talkie actually belonged to the victim. Think, Phoenix. You can turn everything around right here and now. Time to review the facts we have so far. Oh, well, this is getting intense. With the intent of killing Orla, Rhymes drained the show stage pool. But Rhymes failed to kill Orla and instead he tried to pin Shipley's murder on Orla. Mm. In order to manipulate Orla, Rhymes must have used a cell phone and a walkie-talkie. The walkie-talkie Rhymes has is broken. I think it's the victim's walkie-talkie, the one he kept as a memento of Azora Summers. I have to find a way to prove that it is indeed the victim's walkie-talkie. Which piece of evidence left on the walkie-talkie could prove it belongs to the victim? Whoa. Oh my god. I mean, the fingerprints aren't going to be on there anymore. I'm going to say her tooth... Her tooth marks are going to probably show it's the victim's, because Orla saved her. She was Orla's trainer. I think it's Orla's teeth marks because there's no way you could. All how right. would her? How would the dead girlfriend's fingerprints still be on there? The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie. We have two pieces of evidence with tooth marks and a walkie-talkie in the dummy. What's striking about these two pieces of evidence? The tooth marks are different. Yeah, I think so. One looks smaller. Two different bite marks. When I look closely, I see two different bike bark patterns, two variations. Wasn't there a trick of Orla's that had two different variations as well? There was, um... Yeah, the show song was two different songs. Okay. Two different songs. A year ago, Orca's song and teeth marks were different from what they are now. What could be the cause of these two inconsistencies? What's behind the fact that Orca's tooth marks and song are different a year ago? She was... A, learn a new song, her teeth grew in. She was a different Orca. What? A different Orca? What? It was a different whale? It was a different whale? No way. Hmm, I guess we can try that one and see. I don't... I can't understand how that would be... I mean, I would say she had different teeth or a different song, but I want to see what a different orca would do. I don't know. 
There are two different orcas. No way. Starting to think there are two different orcas. The one a year ago and Orla now. What do you mean? And if the orca a year ago wasn't Orla, it means the bite mark on the walkie-talkie isn't Orla's like Rhyme said it was. Now I can finally prove the walkie-talkie belongs to the victim. Oh my gosh. Ah, what? what? My mind is being blown. Mr. Knight, you appear to be lost in thought there. Is everything all right? I just realized something astonishing, Your Honor. Huh. Your face is quite astonishing, right, Dono? Your rudeness is what's astonishing, Prosecutor Blackwell. And what is this astonishing thing you realized? Until just now, I thought Orca at the Ship Shape Aquarium a year ago and Orla were the same Orca. However, two inconsistencies led me to a new fact. And that fact is that there might be two Orla Shipleys. What? Two different whales? Well, that's impossible. Order! Order in the court! Explain yourself. What is the basis of this preposterous claim? The Orca Show song a year ago and the one... Ah. Uh, the Orca Show song a year ago and the one now are different. I believe it's because the orca a year ago was a different one. Two different orcas, two different songs, it explains the show song contradiction. Oh, wow. What this bill be talking about? I'm talking about the truth. The truth that will finally catch you in your lies. You claim that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were Orla's, but that's not true. The two different bite mark patterns on the walkie-talkie and on the dummy prove this. Oh, yeah, it's different. What, two different patterns, you say? Silence. While I will concede there's a possibility that there are two orcas, bite mark patterns are alone, not proof enough. All right, I'll show you conclusive evidence then. So he wants to see evidence other than the bite mark patterns, does he? The orca a year ago and Orla have different songs and different teeth. I don't have two videos on hand that can be used... Don't I have two videos on hand that can be used to compare those differences? I will now submit two videos with which the different songs and teeth can be compared. You have a video of one orca on the <clears throat> TV phone that was taken, and then you have a video from, don't they have the DVD of the show on a different video? Yep. Take that! And here is the other one. The DVD thing. Please compare these two videos, one from a year ago and one recent. As discussed, the two orcas are singing two different songs. Please also pay special attention to the appearance of the two orcas' teeth. How exactly are you claiming their teeth are different? Let's look for shots in two videos where the orcas' teeth are shown. This orca... This orla in recent video of the Swash Rush... This whale in recent video of the Swashbuckler Spectacular Pirate Show, as you see, she has all of her teeth. What a healthy smile she has. I'm a bit envious. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the TV phone video from a year ago. Oh, a tooth is missing. Just as I thought, their teeth are different. Oh, I believe their smile looks a little different from the one we saw a moment ago. As you can see, the orca from a year ago has one tooth that's broken off. Oh, wow. If the teeth are different, then... Yes, if the teeth are different, they, of course, leave a different bite mark pattern. On the practice summit, you can see Orla's uniform pattern with all teeth intact. On the walkie-talkie, you can see that one tooth is missing from the pattern. I see it, just like the smile of the orca in last year's video. The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were not made by the orca we know as Orla. They were made by one from a year ago, a different whale. Two different orcas? I can't believe it. The statement that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were from Orla was a lie. The truth is, this walkie-talkie was stolen from the victim Jack Shipley. And the only person who could have stolen it is... The culprit, Marlon Rhymes! Oh, wow. No, you got it all wrong. It be all the fault of that orca. 
Whoa, huh? Yo, you got it all wrong. Oh, oh I feel bad for him. Blimey! It be the orca's fault. This can't be. Ah! Oh man, he should have checked to see if that orca, if they were the same orca. Uh, how would he know that? There's no way he would have known. Once again, I'm too weak to help anybody. Oh, he couldn't save his girlfriend. That's terrible. <clears throat> this is dramatic but crazy case. Well, it would appear. We should hear more from the defendant about Ola Shipley. Sasha Bakla? Ye ye yes, Captain. Judge. Is that Mr. Wright's claim true? Are there two different whales? I... I, uh... The secret that Ship Shape Aquarium was hiding was about Orla, wasn't it? Dr. Crab told me to focus on Orca's song. He hinted it would be a clue. Phoenix is right. The one we call Ola is the second Ola Shipley. There actually used to be two Orcas at Ship Shape Aquarium. I used to call the first Ola Shipley just Ola for short. Ola and Ola are sisters. The captain rescued them both when they got beached on the shore. But Ola was in bad shape and the ship's doctor had to look after her for a long time. Both orcas love the captain, so we decided to keep them on at the Ship Shape Aquarium. Why didn't you say anything about there being two orcas? Well, because after the accident a year ago, Aura was put down. What? Aura is dead? Yeah. The Centers for Dangerous Animal Control demanded it. Apparently the captain and the ship's doctor begged them. We put the first one down, so please the sec leave the second one alone, they said. Anyway, after the accident a year ago, the captain told us he was going to put Orla in the pirate show as Ora Shipley. He asked us to keep quiet about Orla's, Orla's death until the time was right, you see. Mm, what a surprising and complex tale. Did all the Ship Shape Aquarium employees know about this? No. Just a select few of us. Mr. Rimes, did you know about it? Of course not. How would I? Tell me, Mr. Rimes, did you plan on killing Orla from the start? Yeah. I planned to do it during the cleaning so I drained the pool. I figured I didn't do something about that beast. Sasha's life was in danger. Sasha trusted that orca just as much as Azora did. I wanted to protect her. I couldn't help Azora. So it felt like protecting Sasha was the best I could do. It was my duty. I built up my strength so I'd be ready to kill the orca, even fought with sharks. But the captain realized my plan and tried to save the orca. Oh my gosh. And that's why you killed Jack? Oh, now the report from the crime lab finally makes sense. Report from the crime lab? In court yesterday, you'll recall I showed you a photo of the victim lying on his back. According to the lab, the bruise on the victim's right wrist was Rhyme's handprint. His handprint? I didn't know how it fit with the case until I heard Rhyme's story just now. But now we can imagine the reason for it being there. Rhyme's must have made the handprint when he fought with the victim over the orca. Oh my god. A handprint made during a struggle? Rhyme's did it. He fought with sharks? So that he could protect Sasha from... But why did he think that Sasha was going to be killed by the orca when the orca had never done anything to her? I just... I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. I don't care what happens to me anymore. I deserve the death penalty. I'm the one who killed the captain. Please, give Sasha her not guilty verdict. Huh. You accept your defeat well, I see. Let me be your guide to heck. Get on with the verdict, your baldness. 
Mm, I seems this uh, unprecedented trial began with an orca as the defendant. It's finally come to a close. Sasha is saved. Orla is going to be so happy. Sasha's not guilty verdict is coming. Why do I still have this strange nagging feeling? Rhyme's handprint on the victim's right wrist. Was it really the result of a deadly struggle over the orca? I can't shake the feeling that handprint has some other hidden meaning. Is this trial really going to end without revealing the whole truth? Please let it end. Very well, this court finds the defendant Sasha Buckla. Oh my gosh, Phoenix! Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. What? Mr. Knight, what is the meaning of this? I would like to further explore this new evidence the prosecution just submitted. Are you kidding? What? But what complaint do you have about the guilty verdict? I see no need to further prolong this trial, Mr. Knight. Some of us have lives. Your Honor, we still don't know the entire truth of this case. You guys said there was 30 minutes. There's like an hour left, isn't there? No. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. This unnatural handprint Mr. Rhymes left at the victim's right wrist. I don't think it was the result of a fight between the two men. Not the result of a fight? Doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't leave a handprint like that fighting. You would only leave it if you were squeezing something or hanging on to something. Then what do you Doesn't suggest it was? Sense. Boss, what are you doing right now? Do you remember that evidence we found at the show stage? Evidence? What evidence? That mysterious mark might be the key to understanding the whole case. Your Honor, the defense would like to submit evidence that will expose the truth of this case. A mysterious piece of evidence that pairs Mr. Rhymes' unnatural handprint. Take that! Upside down handprint on the ladder. He tried to save the guy from falling. That's my guess. Marlon Rhymes left behind a very unusual set of fingerprints at the show stage. In what way were they unusual? They were right handprints on the left side of the ladder. He didn't murder him. If we're one to grasp the ladder in the same way as the prints, it would look like this. Hmm, it looks like the ladder is being grasped from above. Exactly, Your Honor. And the handprint on the victim's right wrist shows it was held with a powerful grip. Marlon Rhymes was grasped at the show stage ladder in an unnatural pose. If he was gripping the victim's wrist in his position... Gripping the victim's wrist? Then he must have been... It means Mr. Rhymes was actually... That's right. If we couple the unnatural handprint with the mysterious fingerprints... He was hanging on to him. We see that Marlon Rhymes was trying to save the victim's life. What? But that can't be. It's impossible. Why don't you ask Mr. Rhymes himself? Yeah. Aye. Mr. Rhymes, we want to hear the truth directly from you. I gotta hand it to you, Mr. Lawyer. You got skills. Why? Why'd I have to figure it out? It don't matter what happens to me anymore. I'm ready to die. So, what's the defense's claiming is true? The captain, he found out I drained the show stage pool. He rushed to the side of the pool, frantic to put some water in for the orca. And then, he slipped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Captain, give me your left hand! Wow. No, Marlin! You'll fall too! Oh my gosh. Forgive me, Marlin. I didn't realize what deep pain you were in. But, please, please don't blame Orla. It's nobody's fault. Not Orla's, and not yours. 
Hey! What? Oh my god! Captain! No! Oh my gosh! So, Jack Shipley's death was accidental. Why didn't you tell us that you didn't kill the victim? Because I have no right to live anymore. I'm ready to get the death penalty. The captain died because of me. And then on top of it all, I used his body to frame Orla. I was going to kill that whale and she wasn't even to blame. She didn't even do nothing wrong. The only thing I can do now is pay for, all, uh, pay for it all with my life. I can't do anything. I couldn't save the captain. I couldn't avenge Azora's death. Mr. Rhymes, you have the wrong idea about Miss Summer's death. Not even the first Orla Shipley was responsible for her dying. Aura, or her, on her own accord, was trying to save Miss Summer's life. What? What are you talking about? Zora Summer suffered from a heart condition, but she didn't tell anyone, and she performed in the pirate show anyway. She had a heart attack and died before anyone could save her. I'm sure she did, didn't think Aura attacked her, there's nothing to avenge. No way. A heart condition? She never said a word about it. Maybe she didn't want you to worry about her. So I wanted to get revenge all this time? For nothing? That sucks. No, yeah, that's really, that really does suck. That's terrible. So neither case was murder. Not a year ago, and not this time either. Your responsibility in this matter is great, but I believe you can be rehabilitated. Marlin, you better come back to Ship Shape Aquarium when you're done. You hear? Ola and I and everyone will be waiting for you. You still have a lot to offer, Mr. Rhymes. Live your life and never give up. For the sake of those who are gone as well. I uh, promise to make up for what I've done, even if it takes my whole life. Mr. Wright, Sasha. Mm, his girlfriend should have told him. Thank you. I mean, it's. Just... I can't believe nobody told him anything. Yeah, but he's going to be in jail a long time. He covered up the murder. If anyone. They should have told him that it was a different whale. Well, I have uh, seen countless trials, but never one that ended quite like this. I don't know how, Mr. Wright, but you always seem to manage to turn things around. I think all this excitement has taken a few years off my life. <laughs> oh my god. Is that praise or diss? I think we should cross-examine the whale again. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Sasha Buckler, not guilty. Hooray. <laughs> There you go. Not guilty. <laughs> this guy's been defeated by two different right attorneys now. Apollo and Ace and uh, Phoenix. Gorgeous, now adjourned. I need to go rethink my life. No more animals in my court. No more monkey business. July 22nd, 5.11 p.m. Ship Shape Aquarium. So they put down the other whale. And the other whale didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. That's why they were trying to protect this whale, because they were already sad about putting the other one down. Congratulations on your win, Mr. Nick! Thanks for all your help today, Pearls. <sighs> all I did was have fun with Orla. Whee! 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 Orla, I'm back! Oh, I missed you, girl! Oh, I'm so happy for you and Orla, Sasha! Everything turned out great! Phoenix, Athena, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ola and I are really grateful. Our oh, matey, I will now act out me gratitude with a little performance. Miss Orca lover, don't you think you'd better take care of your health first? Uh, all right. Fine, I promise. No more shows until I'm better. I don't want anyone to worry about me, after all. Good. I'm glad that's settled. Hey, buddy. Mr. Lawyer. You just had to blab every single one of the aquarium's secrets, didn't you? 
Sorry about that, Dr. Crab. No, that's all right. I'm glad. It was kind of hard to tell. Although, thanks to you, they now know we're using a legal torpedo system. But I think we'll be able to wiggle out of the serious repercussions somehow. The writer lady is advocating for us, saying the law itself is to blame. She said she's going to look into getting the law changed. Wow, go Mr. Bloom. She sure is a powerhouse. There's one thing you didn't figure out, by the way. Keep this to yourself, will you? We don't want to get it out into the public. Remember that appointment I had written down in the calendar? You mean, meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m.? That note meant the Orca Pool of the Submarine Aquarium, not Shipley's. What? Why were you supposed to meet there? Jack and I... We visited the sub, uh, Supermarine Aquarium once a month. Any idea why? To get a dolphin therapy treatment? No, silly. Remember I told you? Jack and I were against putting the orca down from the start? What? You mean... We just pretended to put the whale down. The Supreme... Supermarine Aquarium is harboring her for us. What? So that's the talk about the large amounts of money you were paying them. Wait... So they never put the first whale down? Nope. They shipped it to a different aquarium. Yep. Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. I know things. And I came to find out that each time a large sum of money was being paid out. Something shady is being done. Right. Or is alive. So the only person who died was the captain. Says. Yeah, he died. We were paying for Aura's care. You wouldn't believe how much fish she eats. Hmm. Now that it's been proven she was innocent all along, I think we can bring her back home soon. Until then, keep your mouth shut. Huh? What was he telling you about, uh, Mr. Wright? Oh, nothing much. Huh? Oh, come on! By the way, Orla wants you to give her a little celebratory prize, Mr. Wright. Whee! 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 Orla specifically requested... That you give it to her, Mr. Wright. All right, all right, fine. Let's see, what can I give her? Sweet! Take that! Orla, it's coming a day late, but congratulations on your verdict. Aww. That's cute. Nope, Orla's not going to give you a kiss, Athena. She only... It's only for Mr. Wright. And so the curtain fell on my first trial in years. I'm looking forward to the comeback of Sasha and Orla Swashbuckler Spectacular. After all, I made a comeback of my own as a lawyer. Hmm. A few months later, oh my gosh, it's not over. Entrance. Okay, sorry. Oh, I mean, this is a few months later. But still, like... Ooh, I'm just... This is it. You're on the last page. Oh, okay, okay. Amber, the mic is hot. Excuse me. All right, sorry, guys. We just needed to know how much was left of this game, because this is getting annoying. It's been a while since I visited Ship Shape Aquarium. Now that Sasha's recovered from her illness, she's performing today. There's still some time before the show starts. I think I'll wander a bit. I'm trying to find some word that tells you how long you have. I don't know. Okay, just try to... You know. mm. Um, does anyone know how long we have of this case, guys? Is this the last part of the case? Yeah, because we're already running uh -huh. over, guys. Hi, Phoenix! Hope you enjoy the show today! The orcas are really excited! Oh, we're gonna keep it short. I'm sure I'll enjoy. Wait a minute, did you say orcas as in plural? Mm, yep, let me show you! Mm. Two of them. What? The two of them? Don't tell me. 
Yep, you called it. Ola Shipley the First has returned to Shipshape Aquarium. Uh, we be the three pirate sisters are be out to stop the evil Scallywag League led by Red Stash and the Giant Octopus. Well, I don't want to get in the way of their rehearsal. Guess I better go. Who's Red Stash now, though? I have no idea. Well, if it isn't Blue Boy, did you come for my book signing? Oh, Mr. Plume, there's a book signing? Yes, my new book is out. It's called Ship Ship Aquarium. Don't pull the plug. The book signing will be held here in this room after all. The vet owes me a favor. Yes, she got them to approve the use of torpedo. I'm grateful. But why does she keep coming to my lab to bother me every single day? Oh, my next work will be entitled Sniper the Penguin Leaves the Nest. Peep! Creep! 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 Ah, stop this! Why am I surrounded by females? Gee, Dr. Crab gets all the ladies. Yep. I guess I'll leave them to it. Whoops, it's almost time for the show. All right, showtime. Where have you been, Daddy? Polly and Athena already went in. While we were waiting, I bought some of the souvenirs to take back to the village. Sorry to keep you waiting, uh, but uh, I'll bet you love your souvenirs back home, Pearls. By the way, I hear certain someone is going to be in today's show. Certain someone? I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's almost time. The show's about to start. All right, let's go to the show stage then. I saved you all a seat, Mr. Wright. Oh, I can't believe we get to see the show again. I'm so happy. I want to dive in the pool. Oh, I can't believe I get to see the show, Mr. Wright. I'm so happy. I want to dive in the pool. You better not. I think they'll call security. You're welcome to the pool anytime, Athena. But Red Stash is the best swimmer of them all. Huh? You, who have you got playing Red Stash? Sasha Orla is ready to go. Hey, I know that voice. Yep. You may know it. Marlin is back, and he's playing the role of Red Stash. Wait, how in the world did that happen? He didn't... Yeah. It be the new Swashbuckler Spectacular! Hope you enjoy it, me buckos. Oh, that was a very short sentence. Um, maybe he's out on parole. I don't know. Uh, new show. New sea show. Alright. Yep, he's back. Okay. And so, our pirates set sail for bluer seas under a sunnier sky. As for me, I set foot into the world of law once more as a full-time lawyer. We didn't get to see Marlin as Red Stash. Nope, we didn't get to see Marlin as Red Stash. That's okay. All right, well, we made it to the end. That was kind of a... No, I wouldn't say that was really a happy ending. It kind of was. The whale survived. Marlin didn't go to jail for very long. So, that's good. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it. Uh, in order for this stream series to continue, a thousand views required. Uh, in order for us to start the next case, which is called... Um, whoops. Next case is called Turnabout Academy, mm. which stars uh, Amber's character, Sasha. Or not Sasha. Um, Athena. Athena. 
Yeah. So, um, yep, a thousand views in order to start the new uh, case tomorrow or this weekend. So thank you guys for watching. Final Fantasy is starting late, and I'll try to get it as soon as I can. But uh, see you guys on over there. Remember, Final Fantasy requires 40 likes in order to begin. So if you guys could head over there now uh, to help out with that, that'd be fantastic. And we're going to get underway as soon as we can. All right, guys. God bless. Happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. See you in a little bit. And hopefully Ace Attorney will be back tomorrow. It just needs 1,000 views. It means you guys have to get 8, 9, 1,000. Just 300 views. All right, guys. God bless. Happy gaming. Thank you for the super chats. And uh, see you on the next stream of Final Fantasy. See ya.